Welcome to today's lesson. So on today's lesson, we're talking about the component of a topological space. Um, and you know, topology happens to be one of the um branches of pure ma uh, mathematics. And you know, most of the courses in pure mathematics are very abstract. So sometimes getting understanding of certain concepts is a bit technical. But in this video, I have tried to make it so simple. So You'll be talking about the definition, we'll go through some properties and some theorem, and we'll take some examples and explanation of what the components of a topological space is. So, let's go to the definition. Note that before the definition, the component of a topological space, the component of a topological space is also known as the connected component. So, in some books, you see connected component and they use it to mean the same as the component of a topological space. So let's look at the definition. So we say the component of any topological space X form a partition of X. They are disjoint. So when you say a component of a certain topological space, then they form a partition of X. They are disjoint, non-empty, and their union is the whole space. So their union is the whole space. So um, know that we have a lot of definitions for components of topological space, uh, but this is the simplest to understand. When you see the components of any topological space, it forms a partition. You know, when you have our X, so they form a partition of X, and they are disjoint, non-empty, and their union is the whole space, X. So this is going to be very, very technical and um, we'll be explaining this with examples very soon so you understand what it really means. So let's look at some properties. So the component of a connected space. So whenever we have a connected space, then the component is the space S itself. So when you have this space being connected, then the component of it is the, our X. Then the component of the discrete space, I hope you know the discrete space, it is the space which contains, or which has all its subsets being open sets of that topological space. So the components of the discrete space are the singleton or the one point sets. So when you have a discrete space, then its components are the singleton sets. Then here's one term which is going to be very useful. So that term is that every component of X every component of a topological space X is closed. So that means that for something to be a component of a topological space, that thing should be closed. And I hope you know what closure is in topology. So we say um, a set X, an open set X is closed if X minus A is found in the topological space tau. So you go through some explanations. So we want to know why we say the component of every connected space is X. They realize from the definition that we said that when something is said to be the component of a topological space, that thing should be disjoint, like they should be disjoint, they should be non-empty, their union should be X, and that thing should be closed from the term above. So you realize that when we take this, for instance, when we take this topological space, X equals A, B, C, and R, topology defined on it to be phi, X, A, B, A, B. You realize that of all the open sets here, X is the only non-empty closed set. You realize that phi here is closed though, but it is empty. This A is not closed. This B is not closed. And this AB is not closed. So our X here happens to be the only non-empty set which is closed. So that's the reason why we say that the component of every connected space X is X itself. Because... It is only X, which is the only non-empty closing. So that's from the above term we stated there. And let's look at why we say the components of the discrete space are the singleton sets. So when we have this um, topological space and this topology defined on it, phi X, A, B, C, A, B, B, C, A, C. You realize that since um, we have this at three points, that means that the number of subsets 
will be 2 power 3, which is 8. And we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All the 8 subjects are found here. So it makes the topological speed a discrete space. So we are saying that because a discrete space, then the singleton are its components. So you see, there's a singleton, there's a singleton, and there's a singleton. You realize that we said that from the definition that if for it to be any, a component of a topological space, it should be disjoint, it should be non empty, their union should be X, and they should all be closed. So let's see. When you take A, B, and C, you realize that when you find the intersection between these three points here or sets here, you get empty sets, meaning they are disjoint. They are non empty because each of them contains something. So this condition is also satisfied. Their union is X. When you find the union between these three sets, you realize you're going to get A, B, C. A, B, C. So, I mean, their union is X. And you also realize that they are all closed. Because when you take A, for instance, X minus A will give us B, C, which is a member of the topological space. So, it makes A closed. When you take B, X minus B will give us A, C. It makes B closed. And when you take C, X minus C will give us A, B, which is found in the topological space. So, it makes C closed. So, this is how simple I can... May the components of topological space look for you. Thank you very much. Um, Bodo Kran Rindolf once again, a third year student of mathematics and a primary point of of science and technology. Thank you.